beautiful people. So today I get to spend a ton of time outside. I got one of those new like hammock things that you can, like a little tiny one that fits in a little bag, you know those. Like I've seen them everywhere and I fell into the mainstream like thing of getting it and I, I tried it and it was great. Like trust me, it's mainstream for a reason. <laughs> and <laughs> the first time I was like setting it up, it was funny. So here's what you do to like set it up. You have two trees, right? And then you tie strings around each of them. And then you put this little tiny hammock, you hook it onto both of those things, and it's this little, literally this like thin of a fabric. That's what you sit in. So I set it up, right? And the first time I was gonna get in it, I got in so slowly. I was like super hesitant. I was like, okay, I am gonna just go really slowly. It was really, really low on the ground, because just in case I didn't wanna break my butt or something. And so I got in really slow. And then I was fine. Like, it was great. I was like, wow, this is super comfortable. And I stayed in it for a couple hours. But during, like, in the middle of that, those two hours sometime, I don't remember when, I went in the house to get some water or something. And then I came back, and I remember I literally just got in without even thinking about it. I just, like, got in no hesitations whatsoever. I just sat in it, and I was like, wait, hold on a second. I had, like, a light bulb moment. You know, those, like, times when people have, like, the light bulb? I had one of those. It was real. And I thought back to this email I had gotten from this girl, and she was like, what do you do to make your faith grow? And like, how do you grow in your faith? And I didn't really have an answer right away for her. I didn't know like what to say to that. It kind of just hit me. I was like, this makes sense um, with the hammock metaphor symbolism thing, right? Okay, when you first <laughs> set up the hammock, you don't know if this little tiny piece of fabric is gonna hold you in there or not. It's kind of scary, so that's why I set it close to the ground because I was worried about that, right? And when you have to trust God with your future and like, um, take a leap of faith into the unknown with him for the very first time that is terrifying like absolutely terrifying right the very first time that you have to like take a leap of faith with God it is terrifying but then the second time you know that he's gonna be faithful because he was faithful the first time so you can trust him and like it's so much easier just like the hammer thing right I got in the second time and it was so easy. I was just like, I didn't even think about it because I knew I was going to be fine. The hammock is also symbolic of how God will always hold on to you and God will never let you go throughout your entire life. Um, he literally holds all of time and so our little tiny lives, like, that's no problem for him, okay? He has got you. I sincerely hope that you get a chance to trust God and like take a huge leap of faith in your life um, because it's literally such a beautiful thing when we learn to let go of every worry that we have and just give everything up to him. Um, knowing that our lives are in his hands should bring you so much peace because we don't have to figure everything out. Like he's got this for you. I encourage you to go outside and like just turn off all distractions, okay? Try to spend some time in nature, um, in God's creation and just like turn off the phone, turn off the iPad, turn off the music, whatever distractions it could be for you. Turn them off and just listen for God. Um, I have felt God's presence and just heard his voice so audibly during those times. And it's just, I don't know, it's some of the most peaceful times in my whole life have been just outside of nature and just enjoying his creation. Have a great day. I knew that you were so loved and so beautiful.